job. Great job. Well, children, when there is so much racket, there must be something got to kill to. I think that twits the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights. The white man will be in a fix pretty soon. What's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped in the carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me into carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arms. I have plowed and planted and gathered to barns, and no man could have me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lashes well. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's that they call it? Intellect. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man in black there, he said that women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn this world upside down all along, then these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. Now they're asking to do it, and men better let them. Obliged to you for hearing me, now old Sir Jernan ain't got nothing more to say. <laughs>